Okay, a couple of things. I'm, this is slowly coming back to me. Um, let me stop the scan. Pause it. Okay, in the previous video, I was confused why the cursor, the red arrow, which indicates the frequency it's on, wouldn't stay on the screen when I had Fran, which is a database that displays the, the uh, station information on that screen. The cursor wouldn't stay locked on because in order to read, and I'll show you real quickly, I'll load the database, load Fran, and I gotta load the database. Okay, it's, the text is all jumbled up. So what I did is I zoomed in so he could read the text just like this. Use the zoom. So I had to zoom in quite a bit. Now, the, I call it tracking of the cursor is still at two megahertz bandwidth. So once the screen, once the cursor goes off the screen beyond the bandwidth that I've got set up because of Fran, I lose it until it goes up to a section two megahertz later and then it sinks back in. So that's the problem. So I either have to not use this, which I really like it, or I have to maybe change this sample to instead of two megahertz to a half a megahertz and then maybe it'll sync. I don't know how to do that, I've forgotten how, but then maybe it'll sync. The other thing is that I forgot about, let me turn this off, uh, plugins, unload. Okay, I don't need this up here anymore. So now Fran's gone. So now I can zoom back out and it will track uh, the cursor as it goes to another two megahertz section. And the other thing I forgot is I was saying that I wish over here in this database it would highlight the entry that it was on. Like it's at 10 megahertz. Why doesn't it highlight 10 megahertz over here? Well, I forgot it shows it up here. Even though, of course, 10 megahertz, there are various stations on 10 megahertz or thereabouts. So it is tracking it, and it, the station, this database information is showing up over here. So I really am rusty with these two programs. So bear with me while I retrain myself. So I, I've solved kind of those two problems, the cursor tracking on this screen right here. I just can't zoom in or I've, I've got to change this bandwidth. And the database, it does show it up here. Let me go back to scanning. And so you see it's, see it's displaying all the things that are in the database as it scans. And it'll find one here in a minute. I got the squelch pretty high. Maybe right there. Nope, went past it. See, see it resync itself? Beautiful. So it's just operator error. I like this program. It's just, there's so many functions and variables that if you're away from it for a while, at least me, I forget. I totally forget. Okay, I'm going to restart this because these are all low. So I'm going to, if you stop, and you start again, it restarts from the beginning. So there you go. So that says Radio Robet, which is also, that's, I don't see that. 
Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is, right? This is what it saw, right there, this entry. But it stopped. Uh, let me pause here. See, the, the, as I mentioned in the previous video, I need to shrink this latest database that the gentleman made for me. I need to shrink it down. It's just got too much information in it. So I could, you know, here it is. It's stopping at 50351. Well, I probably won't receive that. So I just need to take that out of the database. You know, there are all these odd, odd frequencies. I need to take that out of the database. Uh-oh. Alarm just went off. I got to go do something. Okay. Um, and like, you know, here's Russian spy number. I don't need that. Uh, channel marker five. I don't need, I need to get this cleaned up to like maybe a hundred or less of my favorite stations. So I can have it do a scan of my favorite stations, not stop on all this stuff I could care less or doesn't really exist anymore. And therefore I can reduce the squelch level because the noise is down, way down. Look at that. Down to like minus 95 dBm. But because of all these extra database items, it's going to stop on no other noise. Which I don't want it to do. And it, as you can see, I'll start it right now. As you can see, it takes forever to scan because it's got so much stuff in the database to look at. I can say maybe my friend, and I apologize, I can't remember his name. I, I'm terrible on names. Maybe he will do it for me. I have completely lost my ability to use Excel. I was an engineer and I used Excel every day. It was a kind of a, a bit of a whiz, but all that knowledge is gone. So it, because there is, let me stop this. There's things you can do um, in Excel automatically. Like as you can set up a scan of a database in Excel and say, every time you get an occurrence of spy number, say, throw that away. And he knows how to do that, I don't. My daughter, who's also an engineer, she knows how to do it, but she's too busy with raising two kids. Anyway, that's it. Um, just wanted to get those corrections out so I don't look as stupid as I really am. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.